China launches Tianhe's module, start of ambitious two-year station construction effort. So this is incredible. This is an incredible achievement for China. Now they have their own space station up in orbit. This is the first module of several. And when it's complete, it'll be smaller than the International Space Station, which is already in orbit and has hosted people continuously for over 20 years. Uh, but it'll be larger than Russia's Mir space station, which came before the ISS uh, and was kind of a, a testing ground for a lot of the technology that is used on the International Space Station. Now, uh, let's go through this article real quick. NASASpaceflight.com is, is an, an incredible resource for space news. They have a YouTube channel. I suggest if you're interested in this, please do check them out. You will not regret it. Come down here and they show you a rendering of what the station will look like when it's finally completed. You can see how big of a project this is actually going to be. Now, why isn't China just contributing to the International Space Station? So we go to this Newsweek article here. Why is China banned from ISS, the International Space Station? Beijing launches first part of its own station. Here they're claiming uh, the, 20, the part of the ban is due to human rights issues, even though the US government is the worst human rights violator on Earth in the 21st century, even things they have accused China of without evidence uh, doesn't even come close to what the US has actually done. Uh, the 2003 invasion of Iraq, for example, uh, nothing China has done, even been accused of doing, comes even remotely close. So that, that is an excuse. That is not a real reason to ban China from the International Space Station. They also claim, if you, if you dig into this topic, that China is banned because they're worried about national security threats and the theft of US intellectual property. Now, um, that's interesting. Uh, let me explain what this is really about. US aerospace industry has been dominated by monopolies like Lockheed Martin and Boeing uh, for decades. And these are companies that have artificially stagnated the industry, uh, doing the same thing year after year uh, so that they don't have to divert money uh, from profits going into their pockets back into real research and development. Uh, when SpaceX came along, they did the exact same thing. Uh, they tried to block SpaceX and push them out of uh, government contracts, uh, trying to get them in trouble for all kinds of things because they don't want competition. That's what this, this problem is with China. They don't want competition. If they have competition, that money that they're, they're taking out, this maximizing of profits, has to go back in towards innovation. They don't want that. Uh, uh, actually, here is a US Air Force general interviewing Elon Musk, uh, who is the head of SpaceX. And he asks him, you know, you have Tesla, you have SpaceX, how do you protect your intellectual property? And here's what Elon Musk says. Yeah, well, actually, at Tesla, we just uh, open sourced our patents uh, some years ago. So anyone can use our patents. Um, so we really have not been tried to protect intellectual property uh, in that sense. Uh, we've, we've tried to actually smooth the path. Because mm -hmm. um, the, the overarching goal of Tesla is to accelerate the advent of sustainable energy. And so if we um, created a patent portfolio that discouraged other companies from making electric cars, that would be inconsistent with our mission. So we open sourced all the patents okay. uh, in order to help the other, anyone else who wants to make an electric car. Now, now the, the real way I think you, you actually achieve intellectual property protection is by innovating fast enough. If your rate of innovation is high, then you don't need to worry about protecting the IP um, because other companies will be copying something that you did years ago. In, in other words, he doesn't care about intellectual property. He wants that information out there, uh, those designs out there, these concepts out there, because his goal is to uh, transition to electric vehicles here on Earth. And he wants to make humanity multi-planetary. And the, the best way to do that, the quickest way to do that, is if you have many, many companies all working on this together. Uh, not closing off your knowledge uh, and cutting everyone else off. Uh, and, and to give you an example, so he, he was talking about how Tesla's patents are open source. Uh, regarding rockets, here's, a, uh, here's Russia planning to go reusable in 2026 with new Amor rockets. 
the more looks a lot like SpaceX Falcon 9. So you, you heard Elon Musk say, by the time they, they, they copy something old, you should be moving on to something new. So this, a more rocket does. It does look very much like a Falcon 9. Russia isn't the only country doing this. China has private companies working on things like this, and there are private, other private companies in the West doing things like this, very similar designs. But why doesn't Elon Musk care? Because he's already moving on to the next thing. He's got the Starship launch system that he's developing. He's got hardware already flying. Uh, as part of that program. So by the time Russia and China and other Western uh, companies start building their, their version of the Falcon 9, SpaceX will already have the Starship. By the time they start flying things similar to the Starship, SpaceX will have moved on to the next step. So this is how you use the pace of innovation to keep your edge, to, to stay relevant as a company rather than walling off human knowledge, which just is fundamentally wrong. So China launching their station, an incredible achievement. And then the backstory to why they're building their own station instead of contributing to the International Space Station kind of shows you what's been going on in the aerospace industry in the West, how you have this divide, not only between the West and China, but also within the West between uh, incumbents like Lockheed Martin and Boeing uh, versus newcomers like SpaceX. So if you thought this video was useful, please like and share it. Think about subscribing to my channel. It's free to do and it helps the channel grow. And uh, look in the video description for all of the links to these articles. If you're interested in, in any of these stories, uh, these articles that I picked out are very interesting. There's also ways you can help support my work so that I can continue doing research and making videos like this. And as always, thank you very much for watching.